starring June Lockhart, Hugh Riley, John Provost as Timmy, and of course, Lassie. Stand still and keep your eye on the ball. my little country friend. Are your parents about? No, sir. My mom's in Calverton, and Dad and Uncle Petrie are up in the pasture. I see. Then I presume that you and your canine companion are temporarily in charge of the homestead. Yes, sir. I'm Timmy, and this is Lassie. And I am Ventrilo, the world's greatest ventriloquist. How do you do? How do you do? Lassie wants to shake hands. Well, I'm flattered. This is an unexpected pleasure. To shake one sincere paw makes up for a lifetime of grasping, demanding hands. Please consider me a most grateful friend. <laughs> now that we're acquainted, I wonder if I might have some water. Yes, sir. You can have all the water you want. <laughs> you have a young master that is worthy of you, my friend. Intentions are honorable, my young squire, but misconceived. It was not my thirst, but that of old faithful. Oh. Uh, but your kindness shall not be in vain, for I too am boiling inside. <laughs> Thank you. Mechanical friend has become hot and weary. You talk funny. Where are you from? <laughs> My kind young friend. I am a citizen of the universe. I am a performer. As a boy, I once entertained the crowned heads of Europe. I have traveled the world over. And now, destiny has charted my course to capital city for a three-day engagement. I don't know all the words you said, but did you say you were going to Capital City? Those were my words, but I fear that my chariot may not get me there. I bet Dad and Uncle Petra can fix it for you. Will you put that in the barn, please, to me? Okay. Well, did all I could. Fixed the fan belt, lubed up the water pump, and got that generator working again. Of course, if it was me, I'd trade in this wagon for an ox cart. I guess you can just consider yourself an angel in show business. <laughs> I, I must admit, I know nothing about mechanics. All I can do is entertain people. Well, wow, I think that's pretty important, too. I can't deny that. Could use some entertainment now and then myself. I think she's in pretty good shape now. Anyway, good enough to get you to Capital City. Well, indeed, I'm, I'm greatly obligated. I, uh, I don't mean to offend you. Well, think nothing of it. What are people for except to uh, help out other people? I'm sure that if the situation were reversed, you'd have done the same thing. Besides, it isn't often that we have a celebrity drop in on us. Now are you going to show us what you do? Ah, by all means, a command performance. <laughs> <laughs> Now, 
Whom shall we have perform for us? Ah, I know. For Lassie, a kindred soul, Susie. In here we have Susie. You are in there, aren't you, Susie? Susie? Lassie! <laughs> Susie, how would you like to come out and meet some new friends? I'd love to. Who's trying to get in here? <laughs> Nobody's trying to get in there, Susie. Now calm down. Well, somebody darked at me. <laughs> it was only a greeting. Now. Come out and meet a new friend. There's nothing to be afraid of, Lassie. Come back, girl. Can't hardly blame her for being a mite startled. It was a little unexpected. Susie, I think we frightened your new friend away. I didn't mean to. Lassie, come here, let's talk a little. Please, Lassie, I want to be your friend. It's all right, girl. Can I say anything I want to her? But of course. <laughs> into your mind. Well, that's just it. What is? I'm not sure that I have a mind. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not so, Susie. Your trainer told me that you've got a very fine mind. I think you're just a little nervous. I tell you what I'll do. I'll help you out. I'll ask you some questions, and, and you can answer any way you please. How's that? Oh, that's fine. Now, what is your favorite subject at school? Uh, Gazintas. Gazintas? <laughs> what in the world are Gazintas? <laughs> well, you know, two goes into four, four goes into eight. must come to an end. Say goodbye to the Martins, Susie, and thank them for everything. Bye, and thank you for everything. <laughs> bye, bye, Lassie. It was a real doggone pleasure meeting you. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you better put me away. <sighs> Susie, I don't like leaving these nice people any more than you do. But we've still a long way to travel. So, in you go. <sighs> Show business is no life for a dog. <laughs> Living in a suitcase, well, it's home. <laughs> <sighs> now relax and make yourself comfortable. Are you all right in there, Susie? Well, it's not exactly like the seashore. Oh, Lassie. Oh, that was delightful. Indeed it was. Almost had me believing that dog really talked. Me too. You're the best audience I've had in a long while. Lassie seems to be over-convinced. It was all just play. It 
wasn't real. Susie isn't a real dog. She's just a dumbbell. <laughs> Not a dumbbell, dear. A dummy. A puppet. Now, Mr. Ventrilo, before you leave, I'd like you to come into the kitchen and let me fix us all a snack. Oh, dear, madame. You've been most gracious, but more than kind enough. You better do as my wife says. She doesn't easily take no for an answer. Knowing her cooking, I'd advise you to say yes. So be it. <laughs> I can only repeat, royalty was never more royal. Well, it was a real pleasure having you. Oh, you've made us feel very special. I don't think you'll have to worry about your car anymore. It'll get you to Capital City without any more trouble. Where's Lassie? She didn't come in the house with us. Lassie! Well, farewell, my friends. If you ever come back this way, drop by again. I will. <laughs> yeah. Bye, Mr. Benfellow. Goodbye. Join at nothing. She's been acting funny ever since Mr. Ventrilo left this afternoon. Well, maybe she just isn't hungry. Lassie, Father wants the ball off the barn. And each time you catch it, I'm out. But each time you miss it, that's a base hit, okay? this a thousand times. Come on. What a fine pal you are. I wish I was a ventriloquist, like Mr. Ventrilo, and I could travel all over the world. Lassie? Lassie? I hope you feel better in the morning. Night. Pleasant dreams.
I wonder what poor Mr. Ventrilo will think when he finds this missing. Whatever do you suppose made Lassie take it? Let's open it. Well, it looks as though Lassie wants it open. Say, do you think Lassie could have taken this because of... because of the puppet, Susie? You mean Lassie thinks she's real? You know, I wouldn't be a bit surprised. I think we found the answer. Well, I guess the only thing to do is to... To open it and show Lassie. And then she'll know the truth. That Susie's nothing but a puppet. Go on, open it, dear. She thinks her friend has gone into the next world. Come here, Lassie. It's not what you think at all. Uncle Petrie's right. Lassie thinks that Susie's a real dog. Or rather, was. Well, I can understand that. Susie seemed to be a living thing. The act even had me convinced there. For a while, at least. And you're not even a dog. Thanks. Now, if we can just convince Lassie that Susie is just a puppet. Come here, Lassie. Come here, Lassie. Now, uh, now look, girl. See? See, now, uh, there's nothing wrong with Susie. Now, you watch. See? She's just the same as before. Aren't you, Susie? Here, did you see her nod? Try to make her say something that Lassie will believe. Have her say something to Lassie. Now, uh, now watch, Lassie. Susie wants to talk to you. Hi, Lassie. This is Susie, your friend, talking. Do you hear me? There's nothing wrong with me, Lassie. I'm just fine. What are we going to do about Lassie? She thinks Susie's a dead dog. Well, one thing's for sure. We've got to take Susie back to Mr. Ventrillo. If she could only understand. Think it'll work, Dad? Well, we can only try, son. I sure hope so. you something? Susie. We thought you might need her. Uh, another thing you, uh, you know, when you did that show for us, uh, seems you did a pretty good job of convincing Lassie that uh, Susie here is the real thing. And now Lassie thinks Susie's dead because she doesn't talk anymore. That's right. I, uh, well, I know it sounds kind of silly, but could you do another show for a few minutes and just sort of help convince Lassie that Susie here is all right? Just kind of have her talk to Lassie and, uh, and move around a little bit? Will you help Lassie? 
Please, Mr. Ventrilo. I wish I could. But I'm afraid I can't. You see, I've lost my voice. I, I can't even do my act. I, I had a sudden attack of laryngitis. I, I've been fired. This has gone far enough. Timmy, bring me your bowl, will you please? Oh. There you now. That's just right. Doc Weaver says this is one of the best tonic foods he knows. Dogs just love it. Maybe that'll tempt her to eat. There you are. Here, Lassie. You're gonna like this. Fates have smiled upon me once again. I'm no longer indisposed. And I have a new engagement. Oh, good. good. But first, I'm at your command. Oh, please come in. <laughs> you know, will you promise me something? Anything at all. Promise me that... I'll never have to go back into that dark, stuffy old suitcase again. I promise that you will never have to go back to that dark, stuffy old suitcase again. <laughs> I love you. I love you. <laughs> now, Lassie, you can be happy too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for fixing our car again. Now you sit up here with me, Susie. Bye, Lucy. <laughs> Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Bye. 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 